Hello, Paulding Countyans. Welcome to the Chairman's Corner. I think you've probably been here with me before. Today, I've got with me Tabitha Pollard, the uh, Finance Director, uh, who has gained several years of experience at this now. So I look forward to us uh, talking about some things that can help you to understand how our budget works and just how the finances of the county work. So welcome, Tabitha. It's great to have you. Thank you. And um, I always like to start out with a, a little of your history and just tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got here. Okay. I graduated from the State University of West Georgia with a Bachelor of Business Administration in 96. From the 96 to about 98, I was employed with the U.S. Postal Service. Then I came to work in for Paulding County in, 98, in January of 98. I was, my first task um, was water and sewer accountant. I was, the water and sewer authority had recently been solved and I was bringing the financial information from there to the financials of the county. Um, that took place for several years. In that time, in May of 2002, I went back to school, achieved my Master's of Professional Accounting. In 2003, I was promoted to as Assistant Finance Director and in 2005, I was promoted to the finance director um, in Paulding. Well, that's quite a broad background with a lot of experience in education. Um, uh, so we're delighted you have that kind of a background. Uh, tell us a little bit about your staff and, and what your overall mission is. Okay, the finance department currently has um, nine positions approved. We have eight, um, we have one that's not filled currently at this time. Um, we have several different areas of accounts payable, payroll, and um, purchasing. You know, I've, I've always liked math, but accounting has just always been a little scary uh, to me. Um, just kind of an aside question, what's your favorite part of uh, the financial world in, 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 at the county level? Well, my favorite part is planning, so I would have to say budgeting is going to be my favorite part. Um, I would rather plan to live instead of auditing and producing financial statements is reliving what we've already lived. So um, I'd say budgeting is probably the favorite. You're one that looks ahead, huh? Look ahead. And uh, with the, the future budget, the 2019 fiscal year budget coming up, um, again, I'm glad you've got that spirit of accomplishment. Your department's been recognized for uh, excellent work and received several awards, prestigious awards, and uh, the Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Reporting and the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award. Can you elaborate on those awards a little bit for us? I can. We have received the Certificate of, of Achievement for Excellence in Reporting since 1995. Um, that is the highest form of recognition in governmental accounting for financial reporting and its attainment represents a significant accomplishment each year by the finance department as a whole. Um, it takes all of us to achieve that award, as well as our governing body. Um, the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award, we have, um, this is the second year that we have been, uh, that we've received this award, and it primarily um, focuses on guidelines to assess how well an entity's budget serves as a policy document, mm -hmm. as a financial plan, an operations guide, as well as a communications device. Uh, how does our outstanding credit rating position us for progress and just the accomplishment of our day-to-day -day goals? Well, it um, makes us marketable when we do issue debt or we need to um, achieve funding, then it makes us, uh, it gives us the interest from the public perspective, um, as well as at the higher credit rating we have, the lower our interest cost will be. So specifically, it saves us on in any interest that we might occur. What are some of the highlights in your mind, Tabitha, and, um, and then the hurdles that we have to get over as we go into another year? Well, we're trying to add back some services that maybe were reduced um, during the recession years. and. In many areas, the demand for those services as well as additional services, they're coming faster than the funds available to provide those services. So we're, we're trying to figure out how we can um, continue 
the motto of doing more with less, mm -hmm. as well as um, providing those additional services. Uh, for example, stormwater is an, an area that uh, where we <coughs> lowered our, our service, uh, and now we need to pick that back up. We did. As housing, was, we weren't seeing the housing growth, so we reduced the stormwater service. Right. And then now as that housing's coming back, we're being required to, we're falling behind if we, the more we grow without having that service. Right. Um, well, you've talked a lot about service, and uh, that's a great word. Um, the opportunity to serve and service uh, is kind of what county government uh, could be described as. Um, as far as citizens understanding the, uh, the property tax and how that's associated with the budget, uh, what do you think is the most difficult part for our citizens to understand about their taxes? Um, I think the most difficult part is there are several components that make up the, the property taxes. One, your assessed value. Second is your millage rate. Those two multiply together, um, equal your levy. Sometimes it's misleading for the property tax increase ads that we have to place in the, in the um, newspaper every year. Well, if you have a property tax increase, you'll advertise three, um, three times and you'll hold three public hearings, and sometimes that gets a little confusing as to what you're doing. I'm gonna cut it off here. Uh, I think we've had a, a, some good information. I don't wanna overload people. Great, and, that's good. Uh, just thank you for being here, and uh, thanks for the wonderful job you and your staff do. And uh, just shake your hand. Thank you. <laughs> okay.